And now over to Rahi Patel for the Nord Anglia weather forecast. Rahi, how's it looking? Well, we have a bright one at the Northbridge International School in Cambodia. It's going to be another hot one today at the British School in Kuwait. And we could be seeing snow. Yes, you heard me right. Snow at the British School in Warsaw today. But I want to call your attention to a storm brewing over here that's not far from where we all live. Looks like it might be a cyclone. <gasps> a cyclone is better known as a hurricane or a typhoon. The wind whips around in a well-organized circle with some heavy rains and thunderstorms mixed in. But luckily for us, I recently met a world-renowned expert on cyclones who knows them from the inside out. One of the most interesting experiences that I had was the first time I ever flew an airplane into a hurricane. Back Dr. In Carrie Emanuel is a professor uh, of atmospheric science at MIT. He, uh, and it was a magnificent experience, one of the best things I think I've ever done in my life. And he's done a lot. He flies through cyclones to run field experiments. Once, he spent nine hours flying inside a hurricane. Tropical cyclones are absolutely fascinating. Just about every fluid dynamical phenomenon you can think of is present in the deep uh, thunderstorm type convection. The dynamics of rotating fluids all by themselves are very, very interesting. Lots of it is counterintuitive. It takes you by surprise. You have all these mysteries about how these things get going in the first place. It's a great laboratory for just about everything that's happening in atmospheric science. Professor Emanuel's lab has created something unusual in meteorology. We're used to having computers generate a path or a track estimating where a hurricane is headed. And so we create an entire ensemble of hurricane tracks, not just one. And we can use that ensemble to make fairly precise statements about uncertainty. Actually, for every hurricane on the planet, we issue every six hours a thousand forecasts. You know, we try to condense the information down into something digestible, like what does it actually mean? What's the probability that the wind is going to blow more than 60 miles per hour at your house over the next three days? Forecasting weather and climate is terribly important to many people, but it's uncertain. And yet we scientists have a pretty good idea at any given time what the level of uncertainty actually is. How do we talk about that? How do we get that information across to, to people? The fact is, if we're talking about a life-threatening event, you have to make a decision. Do I get in my car and drive away? Do I stay and load up on bottled water? Uh, what do I do? Here's what you do. Put yourself into my position. Nord Anglia students, I challenge you to put yourselves in the positions of being weather forecasters. You heard him right. The scientists give us the data, but it's how we communicate that science that helps to save lives. How will you convey the inevitable uncertainty <laughs> that comes with weather prediction? Remember that storm brewing down here? Well, that's what we need to predict. Let's help people make the best decisions for themselves and their families, even though there's uncertainty. Can you get to school safely and have fun with your friends? How would you advise people who are economically dependent on weather for their jobs, like fishermen, miners, farmers, and professional sports teams? What guidance would you give to emergency management leaders about evacuations and emergency shelters? Where will the storm go? And how bad will it get? Update your weather forecasts with new data that I'll give you as the storm gets closer. Watch out for wind! Oh, and rain!